what I want. I want you to know what kind of place this world really is. We have completed our mission in New Tortuga, taking down the cartel that ruled the city with an iron fist. The arrogant cartel bosses and their paramilitary forces were no match for the tactical prowess of T-Force, systematically removing any trace of them from the streets. We left no survivors. We have learned that the cartel is involved in a sinister trade, selling human slaves to Legion. For what purpose, we can only guess. We have decided to pursue the remaining cartel forces to their stronghold in Chihuahua, where we hope to end their threat once and for all. We have acquired a helicopter from the cartel space which will give us an advantage in mobility and firepower. We are aware of the risks involved, but we are not afraid. We are T-Force. Ahoy and welcome back to Terminator Dark Fate Defiance. We really did clear out New Tortuga. We have an amazing amount of supplies to cash in here. So we're going to sell a lot of the cartel equipment and just keep what we need. I'll also sell off any old, outdated equipment we don't need. We've got a few options here. We could buy a helicopter, we could buy a cartel tank if we wanted to. They're pretty squishy from what I fought them when I fought them in the last mission. The Iroquois helicopter. It's got rockets and miniguns. The armored dozer. We will sell them. One back. We don't need that one. It's a lot of supplies per day for those dozers sell off a fuel truck and a fuel tanker there the ammo truck a normal truck another truck another truck a van and an unarmored Humvee we will buy some armor for our infantry carrier that looking pretty cool now we will say goodbye to this militia unit and this other one that took significant losses they can stay back at Tutorga Tortuga and find a new job we have a crazy amount of RPG soldiers, so I stripped them of their weapons and selling them off. All of our transports ha now have weaponry to protect themselves. So f grenade launchers and recoilless rifles. And we need another driver crew for this new Humvee. I've kept four armored Humvees. Our chopper can carry eight passengers and I think it's going to be a burden on our fuel, but we'll see how useful it is. We've also hired a new infantry class called the Mercenary. Okay, how do you want that reward? Supplies or goodwill credits? What's it gonna be? 150,000 supplies or 16,000 goodwill credits. Those are worth more. Goodwill credits, no problem. The girls will give you the bills. But we do have to exchange them ready for to supplies. Go? Luis is already stirring things up in Chihuahua. We've gotta go support him. No infiltration work this time. I wanna fight. Now pretend to be a bad guy. We need a small advance force to go in and do recon. Then launch an attack to keep the cartel busy while our main forces get into position. So you're going to get all the action you want, troublemaker. Movement can't do that on its own? We could, but this really needs some professionals to make it work. And that means you guys. Most of our people are raw recruits. We send them in, and maybe they'll get the job done. Ain't that the truth. They got hurt. Stay here and do what you want. But I'm going to Chihuahua. You want to join the fight? You know where I'll be. Okay, so how far to Chihuahua? Three days. So we need 150,000 supplies. Sell off 15,000 goodwill tokens will give us 150,000 supplies, which is enough to get us there with a little bit left over. And we still do need to top everyone up ammunition-wise. Let's set off. Near our farms, there's a bridge. The cartel hold it, and now they've mined it. A bridge? Where? On the road to Chihuahua. They've pulled back to the city, and now they're gonna blow up all the bridges so that you can't follow them. The bridges still stand for now, at least until all their people have crossed them. This is the only road to Chihuahua? There's another one, senor. No bridges, but it's an extra day's travel. So we got a choice. Take and hold a bridge and stop them blowing it up in our faces, or burn extra resources to take this longer route. What's it gonna be, sir? We would have to buy more to spend that extra day, so I don't want to. Maybe we will find supplies at the bridge, so we'll attack the bridge. We can't spare the supplies for a longer journey. We're taking that bridge. Okay, so now we gotta pick a fast attack forward detachment to take and hold that bridge until our main force gets there. All right, our attack force is three armored Humvees, 
two with miniguns, one with a tow launcher. We've got the new mercenary crew and our hero sniper, Kondo. That's all we can deal with for the moment. I think that will be fine. And the new cartel Humvees have extra thick armor. So I'm excited to see how they'll go. Hurry up, muchachos. Those asshole gringos can't be far behind you. Update, muchacho. Those asshole gringos are already here. No they know we're coming. Oh. Shoot him up. What is it? Get these mercenaries get into this brand new van. Now the mercenaries are armed with one of every type of weapon I can see. A grenade launcher, a rocket launcher, they have a sniper rifle and a light machine gun. So I was thinking if you hired mercenaries with no weapons, you would be able to loot the battlefield and make them strong. We'll see how that goes. We'll pick up that new weapon. Got it. Alright, grab this van. Let's go. I'll grab this bridge. Hopefully this place is not filled with anti ro anti tank rockets. Just a Humvee. Glad I brought that tow launcher on the Humvee. Listen to that minigun. We've got two RPG soldiers here. Hurry! Two RPGs. Let's try and back, back up. Too slow. Who you need and kill. Get him. You do it the rest. Totally incapacitated. I think that went through the windscreen. We need to get our other vehicles repaired before we push that any harder. We lost a crew member in the Humvee. He definitely went through the windscreen. We're moving, guys. Let's get to it. All right, get these mercenaries in the fight. I'm then running again. Hit him. There's a guy hiding right behind the sandbag here. Got it. One of the mercenaries standing right back to use his support weapon. Okay, we've, we were right to capture the bridge now. Let's move forward the Humvees. Get the infantry onto the bridge. We'll leave the van back there for now. We don't really need it. That'll be our supply van. We have a minute to go to complete this objective, and that's done. Now let's grab the second one before they can blow it. Alright, we have a few structures in the central island here. Oh, we get reinforcements now. That's great. What will we bring? Going with one armored Humvee and its platform. We'll bring in an extra uh, sharpshooter team. We have an ATGM squad and the other unit of mercenaries. I bought two. I feel like two is always a good number of every type of squad so they can synergize off each other. Or you can make up certain fire teams with other squads. Let's so the sniper then. and the mercenaries, they, between them they have three sniper rifles, so that's pretty powerful long range. Someone give these cartel Ah, uh, let's get one of these guys okay, to grab the van and bring it up. Sharpshooters can do that. What do you mean? Mercenaries can watch while they repair it. Tell us what you want, boss. There's no one on the bridge visible. We'll move the Humvees up. Let's move. We need to take out the command point. We're wipe this Come on. Our main force gets Jump in there. One of the Humvee crew is down. He must have got shot out of the car. By who? By this guy with a sniper rifle. We need to take that guy out. Time to earn our pay. Oh, Kondo just took a big hit there from that grenade launcher. We need to get him away. Your heroes aren't anything special, they're still human. ATGM away, they kill that Humvee on the bridge, done. Fourth Humvee has arrived with its artillery platform. We'll dump off our ATGM soldiers out of it. They can take a position on the bridge for anti-vehicle work. 
going to make much more use of the pause. Let's move. What do you want? Just for giving orders and reacting to things that go wrong. Capo bridges. Now we gotta hold them until our reinforcements get here. Text both the bridges. We have to find a cartel command post. And we have incoming large reinforcements in nine minutes. So we need to make sure we're ready for that. We'll clear the map out. That way there's no four to wait. Let's try and... Alright, so we've got a supply warehouse with some trucks here to collect. And we have to defend it. I wonder if that'll give us extra supplies yeah. for the road to Chihuahua. Just like the cartel, if you know of anything, they know they ain't got time to do it. Our reinforcements say there's a big movement force coming to help us. Gotta hold on. Reporting. Alright, we've got reinforcements coming in 15 minutes. So still not quite enough time to deal with the big red wave. Okay, we got more reinforcements. We still have a lot off the field, but we're going to bring as much infantry as we can, as well as the new heli. But I won't commit the heli just yet. Keep it out of battle for now. We'll use it if we get in trouble. They won't be expecting us to have air support. Right, there she is there, hovering above the battlefield. We bring in the new reinforcements. We've got Big Bob and an empty Bradley, because I forgot to reload it. But we will have supply trucks to do that for us. I found just leeching the battlefield, taking your time, doing active scavenging. You can save supplies between missions. What do you mean? Got it. All right, we've got a supply truck on its way to load up the Bradley before we commit it to uh, to the fight. We're going to put the mercenaries up here because they can see across the river. All right. We're going. And I've just noticed on the mini map that the command there's a secondary objective on the point of this island, so we're going to send some infantry to deal with that. That must be the command post. Okay, who have we got? We've got rangers, two militias, and a heavy weapons team. We've got infantry and a Bradley. I'm gonna bring the Bradley. Yeah, it's gotta get supplied first. Keep the Humvee back out of the fight. That's an ATGM Humvee. This guy's got a platform on it, so he's gonna stay there at the end of the bridge. They must have recalled those units that passed through here on the way to Chihuahua. Right, the ATGM is going to try and get guys to come down this road here. Keep them well out of the fight. Unpack the supply truck and get it loaded up, please. Alright, we've got infantry going to head towards that building. We'll keep the RPG troopers here to guard this approach. Put them here off the road. All right, we got a dude coming in. It's been scouted by the mercenaries and taken out by the ATGM squad. Got infantry truck coming in. Oh no, the Humvee just got driver down. We need to react to that. Get this driver into the platform. So they can help us fight this Humvee. And infantry. Two minigun Humvees just chewing up that one. Take that. That Humvee is pretty, pretty badly damaged. Driver's reporting, sir. We need to get all of our infantry up. Bradley's almost fully stocked. Completely sucked that supply truck almost dry. Pulling my Humvees back out of danger. We need to repair that platform. 
And that first opportunity, we need to repair that Humvee. I believe that's our ATGM carrier. RPG team here. The bad guy on the bridge. Rangers ready. Right, infantry are going to assault this position here on the island, and we're going to secure the island. So then we only need to worry about the bridges, and possibly down here to the southwest. I'm not sure if the enemy can come from that way. We might send a, a force down there to watch out. Stacking up all the orders, so we're ready. Oh, more reinforcements. Maybe I won't need to be cautious. And now we're bringing the rest of the army. Okay, so we have six and a half minutes to deal with this. Till this wave comes. We need to make sure that the warehouse doesn't fall. So we need to try and get rid of all these guys out of here. I could put infantry in those buildings to guard all those reinforcement points. Bradley's coming down this side just to keep a watch. Our armor and supply trucks have arrived, but they are completely unloaded. I only brought it to tow that platform into battle. I didn't spend the money to fill it up with ammunition. Just as utility, dumping off the rest of our infantry. We've got a couple of extra driver teams here that can help us pick up any vehicles that get left behind. Like that van over there. Yes, yes, yes. You're breaking my flow. A new objective has been received, and that's to defend those locals. We'll be fine. Pretty much got my whole army right next to their houses. Oh, Big Bob's taken some damage. Here where you need us. Still armed with the Vulcan cannon. It's going to be less useful in long range fights. In those short range city map, it did a great job of cleansing buildings. Right, we're going to start committing our chopper. It's armed with dual miniguns, so it's going to carve up those infantry. And we just have to assume they don't have any anti-air capability. Alright, all the teams need to be doing something and we need to start moving up towards that command post, I think. That's what it is. Up in the northeast. Putting some infantry down towards the locals to keep them covered. Mercenaries have taken a loss. We've got an infantry team here from the Bradley. Corn's Berserkers, they're going to hold that warehouse for us. Condo. I send the Abrams up here to clear out this house. There are, I'm assuming, guys in it. So we're just going to fire a HE shell right into the living room. Force firing. I don't know if there's anyone in there, but I'm assuming there is. As you can see, there is a large army to manage now. Responding. Spare driver crew can go into the transport to keep them safe. Pack up that supply truck. It's got nothing left. The living room exploded. Took out the back of the house too. And yes, sure enough, there are men inside. We woke them up. If they're in there, they ain't happy. Thinking about bringing the Bradley back now that it's dumped its infantry. If you say so, you hurry. Humvees need to be up watching the approach. It's a lot more there than I thought, but we made them scatter. Rangers have lost a man. That's okay. It's bound to happen. 
Let's get around the edge here and see what this command post is. Oh shit, ATGM. Reverse. Throw smoke. Throw smoke. Shit. Big hit. Systems damaged. It's a cartel tank there. It's deployed smoke. But Bradley can shoot it from that distance. Oh, it's ATGM. Who wants it? It's fired more smoke. We get some militia up there to help infantry team one. We're taking a lot of damage. All right, let's call in some air support. What do you want? Let's go. Well, we'll make the the most of this battlefield smoke. Come on, just gotta fight it out. There we go. Sniper taking down that ATGM. No other danger present. Everyone took a little bit of damage. Command post is still there. Let's move closer. What have we got here? Humvee. Goodbye. There's a command post. Shoot it. I don't need to preserve it. I am just going to kill it. Let's bring the heli over here. We'll actually get it to do something. awaiting orders. Reporting. Lots of weapons laying around. There's a laser sniper rifle there I would like to give to someone. Give it to the rangers. We're moving, guys. Let's get to it. Ahead. It's one of our team that dropped that, I think. The sniper. Condos. Sniper buddy. Excellent. Oh, that stopped the large wave of reinforcements. This mission just got easier. Infantry are starting to push up towards these locals. We better help. Get the rangers off the road. Got RPGs laying everywhere. Look at all those weapons that fell out of that house we destroyed. Oh, that Abrams is going to have a great time covering both sides of the map. Big Bob in the IFE's taken damage. Lost a crew member. It's a little bit exposed there. I'm going to bring the, the Bradley out. Corn's Berserkers are taking losses. Shit. They're pretty exposed on the rooftop there. Yep. Going all the way. Alright, let's bring everybody over here to watch that that river. Abrams is going to come down. And I think he's gonna watch the bridge. Tell us what you think. These guys are okay. Got our platform there helping. Right, Big Bob's going to help out here at the supply depot. Swapping places with the Bradley. Rangers to hit the deck. What do you want? Let's go. We want our infantry on the river side to stay out of combat, ideally. Just a spot. It's that laser sniper rifle, it's cursed. Everyone that holds it dies. Things are looking good. A little bit worried about this infantry squad. Tank unit awaiting orders. Reporting. On the move, sir. On the way. On route. On the move, sir. On the move. Incoming crew. We'll be your idea. Flight. 
Still haven't committed the chopper after saying I would three times, so let's do some gun runs. ATGM team has run dry, we need to get them resupplied. Which one is it? These guys here? Monk 1. Okay, in this van here. That's got supplies. Heli's coming in on a rocket run. Rangers are in trouble, throw smoke. Rangers taking losses. Got a heavy weapon squad here with a recoilless rifle they need to put to use. With a laser minigun watching the approach across this bridge. Chopper's going to come down here and give him a taste of some rockets. <laughs> Maybe not. A little bit inaccurate. Second ATGM team is out of ammo. These guys are recharged, need to get back to the battle. And swap places with this one. Humvee can withdraw a little bit, it's got no ammo. This is completely empty, this supply trailer, because I didn't. I was, I'm going on the skin of my teeth. So we're reliant on battlefield recovery. It's okay, we've got enough to deal with what we've got left. Five minutes until the movement get here. Berserkers, Corn Squad has lost another man. We're not doing very well over in this this building. Where can we land this chopper? It's almost down to half fuel. Okay, it has to be landed on the road. So you have to think about where you land your choppers, I guess. You can't just push in and hope to resupply it. Drivers reporting, sir. Rangers ahead. Affirmative. Force them on the way. All right, they're pushing through the local village. Heavy squad. Firing on target. Vehicle ready. Rain down on them. One of the homes we were supposed to protect has been caught in a horrible crossfire and doesn't really exist anymore. We're going to bring the fuel tanker up to resupply the heli. We use quite a lot of fuel just hovering above the battlefield. Humvee has lost a crew member, we need to get them out of there. Rangers here. Rangers, take cover. Enemy sighted. Get down. Might bring the Abrams down here to finish off that fight. Oh wait, start a combat with a cartel tank. We're exposing our side armor, but we should reload first. Platforms down. It's okay, I'm letting them push up a little bit more. It's okay. I'm not worried. Take out this cartel tank and then the Abrams will go down there and finish them off. We did lose a crew member. Side shot through the turret. Rangers here. Hoorah! 
Pull the Rangers back. We have a second platform that's set up. This infantry is in an odd position. It will sw swap the militia's position. Corn's berserkers are getting picked off one by one. This militia has our plasma rifles, so they're actually quite potent. Yeah, I didn't worry about resupplying the heli yet. We'll do that towards the end of the mission. We've got three minutes left, I think. Judging by that reinforcement counter. Big rocket salvo. Taking out the Humvee. See how you like that? I've turned off the rockets so he can just sit there and hover. Our ranger teams have taken a bit of a beating. One of our infantry teams taken a bit of a beating. I think we have a fair amount of reserves, so it shouldn't matter too much. I think most of the resistance has died down. There's been hardly... It's just like one or two dudes popping up every minute or so. Might have been a different story if that large wave of reinforcements arrived. Well, those drivers are exposed. Get in the vehicle. There comes the chopper. Stopping dead. Everyone flying through the windscreen. Does a 360 to show off. Our pilot is Mac, who's a guy that joined us from the movers in the mission at Albuquerque. Let's take it for a ride. Thought it was appropriate to give him a little bit of extra training. Ooh, big hit there on the Humvee. RPG taking it out. We've lost one. Well, we have another push coming from this island over here. Infantry truck. Abrams is there waiting for him though. His miniguns are getting a good workout. They're engaging our infantry across the river. Shoot them. Three Enemy sniper rifles right. going off at once. A cartel tank on that side. Let's go and take it out with the chopper. It's light enough, those rockets should work. Brutalized. More cartel forces are coming, but so are the movers. They've spawned together. Chopper is almost out of rockets, he's got two left. Let's throw them in here to the infantry. Fill truck, get out of there. Got it. Enemies ahead. One word. You need enemies. Match for big tank. Devil set on the chopper. Oh, blowing those guys to pieces. Good use of the last rockets. And we'll just try and funnel all of the cartel to fight the movers. Any vehicles left over, we can scavenge. Will these be any good against it? Not really. That's amazingly. <laughs> Poor guys. I do wonder which weapons can fight aerial vehicles though. I might just have 
complete supremacy here. I'm assuming that something like a fi mounted 50 should be able to shoot at a heli. Alright, I think we did it. We'll be your eyes in the sky. The movers are heading across the bridge and heading south. Ready for launch. Landing up the heli, we'll get her restocked, refueled. Drivers reporting, sir. Dump some fuel, get her topped up, and then we'll head out. Guess we should refuel everyone while we're here. We've held the supply warehouse, that's good. No target, Infantry, infantry moving. There's only two guys left in Corn's Berserkers. Heli is being refueled as we speak. Working as intended. We'll let our armored, armored infantry carry get some work. We got that bridge and open up the fastest route to Chihuahua. We're done here, Sergeant. Senor, thank you. You saved us. Captured and held them cartel warehouses. Now we got maybe... In Jose's house. An extra There's day. some kind of big gun. Maybe for a tank? Rodriguez has boxes hidden holding some kind of infantry weapon. And here there's this thing, but I don't know what it even is. Don't worry. Whatever awesome. it is, Weapons. we'll figure out how to use it. It's what we want. Good then. Picking up all of the weapons and ammunition laying around. Because a lot of my infantry just have standard weaponry. So it can be upgraded and these guys can pick up everything. Nice. Alright, everyone is jumping into the trucks. It's time to go. Alright, the first wave of trucks going to form up. We managed to nab a few extra vehicles. Pretty happy with that. Our chopper's ready to go, we should get her out. I nearly forgot about this lonely little platform that held off the defense against the town. Hitch her up, and away we go. Convoy out. On the way to Chihuahua to finish off this cartel. I must say, I do like the look of their vehicles though. 33 losses and 3 vehicles lost. Out of that battle we got a heavy plasma cannon for the Abrams. A light plasma cannon for the Bradley. Okay, so we're going to go and destroy Chihuahua's cartel. See you in the next episode.